Welcome to part 19 of my Tavo Black Widow Mods videos. Today I'll move back to 3D printer and I've actually done that as you can see. And I'm also going to finish the extension wires and the connectors and I hope we will also get to the testing of the BL Touch, we'll see. But as you can see and as I said I moved the 3D printer back into its enclosure and mounted it securely using the same connectors that I used before. And I've also redone the belts here. As you, if you can remember, I was thinking if I should still reuse the steel core belts or go back to the old style belts. Well, I decided to give the steel core belts another try, so I wired both the X and Y axis using them. I also replaced the belt on the Z axis with a newer one, but it's not steel core because I couldn't find a closed loop steel core GT2 belt that's at the millimeters that I need. So, as you can see, uh, there I removed quite a bit of connectors here, so I'm going to solder these, and the, here they are, I have soldered these, it took a few days to do, but here they are, so uh, that's also done, so let's get to the testing of the Duet Wi-Fi. I'm in the process of testing the firmware, I just flashed it. And right now my concern is testing the end stops, but I have encountered a problem. So before that, just quickly show you that I only have the X end stop connected and the BL touch. Ignore the BL touch, that's not the problem here. BL touch sensor seems to work fine, though I haven't managed to fully test it yet because of the fact that PL touch gives me an alarm. Well, yeah, I'll just I'll try and hold the light. So whenever I turn on the duet, as you can see, well, I don't know if you can see it. The there is this red LED, and above it there is a green LED, but. As you can see that barely lights up and that LED is supposed to be the 3.3 volt rail and whenever I connect the end stop it only barely lights up and I'm not going to show you to say it sometime but if I connect both of the X end stops so X and Y it doesn't light up at all. So what I'm going to do is now I'm just going to remove the X and stop and let's turn it on again and as you can see here as you can see right now both of the LEDs are turned on so this clearly is a problem with the end stops and I need to investigate this a bit and I'll come back to you in a second so I did some research online and turns out this is a fairly common issue within the people who upgrade their Black Widow to the Duet Wi-Fi. So a solution quickly popped up and the solution is to wire the end stops to 24 volts directly and then use diodes in between. So I have a wiring diagram here if you want an example of what to do if, you, if you're going to copy this. Ignore the text on the bottom right, that's irrelevant, but the rest of it is correct. So what you're going to need is a short key diode, I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation, and you'll need a quick type, so either a BAT, well, I don't remember the other name of the other one, but a BAT85 works. So I ordered some BAT85 diodes locally and did the soldering gear. I soldered it in the wrong way around but I fixed this so don't use the time lapse in the background as a tutorial. But yeah as you can see the wiring harness is now done. It just wires the two power two power pins and the two ground pins to a 20 uh, fan connector on the Duet Wi-Fi and the other two pins just have a diode in between and go to the end stop connectors. So as you can see I've now installed the wiring harness in here so all that's left is to test this. So I have good news and bad news. The good news is 
the wiring harness that I made works but uh, bad news is let me just quickly turn on this nothing is wired other than the end stops that's why you're not seeing anything going on here and if we take a look here let's just connect there it is none of the end stops well you're only supposed to look at one and two because that's x and y ignore the rest none of the end stops are hit but as you can clearly see the x end stop is hit and the y end stop isn't positioned properly so i'm just going to use this steel ruler and you might notice that the led there lights up so it seems to be functional unlike the x which nothing lights up there but as you can see neither of these end stops are hit so the x end stop is definitely broken and from this you might assume that the wiring of the y end stop is bad but let's just quickly grab the y end stop and i'm going to plug in another one which is the spare end stop that is initially supposed to be used with the z-axis if you don't have the bl touch so i have another one of these so i just hooked it up i'll turn it on it's wired to the y Step two is hit whenever I just say it. So now, and as you can see, it says yes there. I'm removing it. It says no, so it works fine. I also tested this on the x-axis. It works fine as well. The, so the short of it is, I damaged both of the end stops that I have on my 3D printer. So this basically means that. I'm not going to be able to finish the BL touch in this video and um, I'll just get back to you on the time frame but I'm assuming at this point that this will take uh, I'll have to order this from China meaning it will take a few weeks to arrive so yeah this doesn't seem great so yeah I'll try to fix that Y sensor as well but I'm doubtful about that so that's what's going to happen probably I'll need to reorder this and yeah, I'm going to have to reorder these. I just search on online a little bit. There isn't really a way of fixing these. And I only have two sensors. Sorry, I only have one sensor, but I need two sensors. So yeah, I'm going to have to reorder these. And what sucks even more is these sensors cost by themselves 15 to $20 on AliExpress. And I'm going to need two of these. Because I want to have a spare still, so yeah, I'm spending thirty to forty dollars just for my stupidity, basically. And even worse is, I'm not going to be able to make these videos anymore until I receive those parts. This is the problem with doing these series as a weekly series. Whenever something like this occurs, it really isn't easy to fix because. It usually takes weeks from China to arrive and knowing my luck it will probably take a month so yeah so much for the weekly series there definitely isn't going to be one next week hopefully there will be one the week after but yeah I really don't know what I can do in these videos without actually receiving that sensor so yeah that's what it is. I'll also contact Tabo and see if they can arrange me a bit more faster shipping, but they're probably going to ask a ridiculous price if I ask for DHL shipping or something like that. So yeah, maybe they'll supply it for me, but cheaper, but it definitely won't be quicker. So yeah, it is what it is. So, so much for the weekly series. I was planning on making two more, as I said in the channel update video. Well. 
this is the one that I was planning on making another one weekly, but yeah, this is the situation. So yeah, I uh, I hope you understand that. And yeah, there really isn't anything else that I can do in this video either. So I'm going to have to cut it short here. So I still hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave me a like below. And thanks for watching.